<clears throat> All right. For this lesson on pages 14, 15, I want you to have a calculator. If you don't have a calculator like this, um, if you have a phone, it probably has a calculator on there and you can access the scientific calculator part where it does more than just the basic operations. You are going to look for a key that says log on it, okay? So <clears throat> make sure you have that before we go any further. If you need to stop the video, do that. Go get your calculator and come back. All right, say this with me now that you're back. The logarithm is the exponent. The logarithm is the exponent. Now, we're gonna talk about something called the common logs, okay? Later, we're gonna talk about a lesson where it's called the natural logs, and I'm not sure if that's later in this pace or another one, but in common logs, instead of having random bases, the base is assumed to be the number 10. This is the most common case where the base is 10. So in the previous pages, we had a base of maybe 2 or 3 or 7, you know, things like that. You can have anything greater than 0 as the base. And you, and you can't have 1 as the base. It has to be a number greater than 0 and not equal to 1. Anyways, <clears throat> here, every single case, the base is going to be 10. Now, Look at me. This PACE course was written in the 1970s, okay? I know in the front of your PACE it may say that the copyright is 1993 and the printing was 2017 or whatever, but the technology that they are talking about here is 1970s. It's kind of like going to the library and using a library card system to find books in the library or to use the Reader's Guide to Periodic Literature. It doesn't exist, okay? People don't do that anymore. Everybody has a calculator. So they have charts at the back of the pace. And this particular lesson here on page 14, I mean, it's easy to do, okay? So like the log of the number 8.5, you say, well, where did they get that four digit number? <clears throat> if you go to the very back of the pace, you find the table of common logarithms and you look up 8.5. And then if the second digit is just a zero, then you just take the 0 0.9294, okay? But I wanna show you, if you take your calculator, on this calculator, I hit log first, and then it gives me a parenthesis. So I'm gonna put in 8.5, hit enter, and it gives me the same answer, 0 0.9294. Actually, it gives me more digits, but I'm just gonna round it off to those four digits, 0 0.9294, okay? Some calculators, you have to put in the number first and then hit log, and then it'll give you the answer. So let's test it. What is, you should know this off the top of your head, I think, what is the exponent that 10 would have to be raised to to give you the number 100? 10 to the second power. So the log to the base 10 of 100 would be 2. All right, so let's try it. On your calculator, if you put in 100 and then you hit log, does it give you the answer 2? On mine, it does not. On mine, it says like 100 times the log of something. So I'm going to hit clear that. I hit the log key first. It gives me a log parentheses. Now if I put in 100 and hit enter, it gives me the number 2. Okay, so I know it's working. Log <clears throat> to the base of 8. Let's try it on your calculator. Ready? So on mine, I hit log, put in the number 8, hit enter, and it gives me 0 0, uh, 0 0.9030899987. So it gives me a lot more digits than the back of the pace here has. Uh, what did I say? Log of 8. So just plain old 8 works out to be 0 0.903. And then I would round on the calculator, round that 0, 08 up to a 1. So.
0.9031. So check that on your calculator. Make sure that you can round it to four places and you get that same thing. All right, let's do this next one together. Let's use our calculators. All right, clear. I'm hitting log 3.09. Do it with me. Hit enter. And on my calculator here, I have point. 48995. Now let's talk about that. Point 48995. <clears throat> I want to round it to four places here, but this five is going to round that up to a zero, which is going to round that up, which is going to round that up. So it looks like it's going to become 4900. Zero, zero. And I'm going to look here in the back and just see what they have on the chart here. Uh, 3.09. Yep. 4900. For this particular page, um, whatever page that was, 14, <clears throat> that is very easy to just look it up on the chart in the back if you want to do that. It also, you're going to get the same answer with the calculator. You just sometimes have to use your basic math skills of rounding off to four places because in the score key the answer will always be to four places all right now let me hit clear page 15 is taking large numbers and finding the logs now again back in the olden days I don't even think when your parents were in school. We're talking about when your grandparents were in school, which is when these paces were written, okay? They did not have calculators. When I was in high school, the very I had one of the very first calculators. All the text was in red, and it could only do very simple calculations, and it was very expensive. It was thick, very big, bulky, thick, and just burned up the batteries, okay? <laughs> Okay, those are the olden days. We don't need to use charts to find square roots and logs and things like that. So let's find the log of 200, whoops, I did it again. I have to hit log first, 250,000, and then hit enter. All right, 5.3979. So try that on your calculator and see if you get the same thing, 5.3979. All right, now I'm gonna try the log of a decimal number, 0 0.0075. Hit enter, and I get a negative number, negative 2.1249. And that makes sense because fractions or decimal numbers, we're going to end up with a negative exponent. Okay, fractions give us a negative exponent. A decimal number is a fraction, so we would expect a negative number in the front. Okay, so <clears throat> um, parents, maybe teachers who are watching this, please, please don't make your students depend on those charts in the back of the paste. They are on the paste test. I mean, if you want them to have a little nostalgia lesson or do it the hard way, just, I don't know why. I don't know why you would do that. Um, except that, I mean, the reason they haven't done it with the paces is just because they haven't revised the paces in so many years. They just keep reprinting the old editions because math doesn't change. Well, math doesn't change. I mean, the answers are gonna come out the same. But the method that we use in this 21st century is we use calculators. And uh, they have these really cool buttons called log. All right, so I'm gonna stop there and I have some things I need to do today. So I'm, I'm gonna upload these couple of videos and then hopefully a few days from now, come back and do some more paces in this, um, some more pages in this pace.